why Tom Hardy is great as Venom. According to one producer the silver screen Marvel world changed forever with the lease of Spider-Man Homecoming over the summer, but Sony is about to take that baton and run in an entirely different direction with next year's release of Ruben Fleischer's Venom. The film is expected to do some radically different things, with the Spider-Verse than any movie we've seen before, and the casting of Tom Hardy as the titular Andy Hero will go a long way towards bringing that vision to life. On that note, Venom producer Matthew Tolmach opened up about Hardy, and explained that he brings an intensity and a willingness to explore that other actor just couldn't. Eddie Brock is an incredible character in the gritty, real, authentic, funny but also embittered character and a truth teller who has made mistakes. You know, Tom. It's like a master class watching him act every day and he's such a risk taker, and he loved this character. From the day that we first met with him, my partner Ravi Arad and I, we found someone who just believed in this character entirely and yet every day pushes it to a place that, us mere mortals would never expect it go. He just has crazy integrity about it and so he challenges everything, we're doing in the most brilliant way. For him, it's like, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to, do it and give it its due. Because the love that the fans have for that character is profound and, he shares it. So, it's really exciting. Matthew Tolmach remarks to MTV News probably won't surprise too many people who have kept up with Tom Hardy's work over the years. From Bronson to Warrior to Locke, the guy is widely regarded for his ability to bring a certain level of intensity to his roles, as well as his ability to transform his body and personality. Eddie Brock slash Venom is a visceral comic book character with a rabid fan base, so he needs the type of passion that a guy like Tom Hardy will provide. It also probably helps that Tom Hardy has become a known quantity in the realm of comic book adaptations. His performance as Bane in The Dark Knight Rises received widespread praise back in 2012, even if people still like to make fun of his strange voice, and that DC villain is arguably a perfect stepping stone for this super strong Marvel baddie. Despite the overall enthusiasm for Tom Hardy to step into the symbiote suit for Venom, he only represents one enticing piece of this much larger puzzle. In addition to the Revenant star's presence in the film, Venom has also enlisted the acting chops of Michelle Williams as Anne Wayne, as well as Woody Harrelson and Riz Ahmed. Couple that with the fact that Venom may be aiming for hard R rating, and it looks like this Sony-produced solo movie could break new ground in the vein of Deadpool or Logan. Venom is gearing up to debut in theaters next year on October 6, 2018. If you want to know more about the upcoming Spider-Man spin-off, then make sure to check out our handy Venom guide. Please enable JavaScript to view the comments power.